do a lot of interview editing uh, here at Salvine. And one thing over the years, I, I tried many different ways, and this is the way that I found works the best. It's the most efficient, and it's the fastest way to get good content in your sequence. If you're working up here in the composer window, you're just listening to it. And for instance, like right now, there's the uh, interviewer, the producer, is sitting there talking. So you're like, okay, let me scrub through. Okay, no, now he's starting to answer. Or well, let me go back, I missed some. With, you drag this down into the timeline, and you create your sequence, you're gonna visually have the waveforms here where you can see the different questions that allows you to pop to the next one pretty quick and save a lot of time. So for instance, if they started and stopped the camera on an interview 10 different times, you're gonna wanna take chronological order from the very first take to the last, you're gonna wanna throw them in the sequence. And then you're gonna wanna build the waveforms that you can see over here. Once you have the waveforms built, you can start the subclip editing by seeing that his answer, for instance, starts right here. Uh, we've been able to really streamline the... And you can tell that he stumbles up here just by talking by the waveform. And you see this little part right here, you can tell that this is the producer and him going back and forth, him saying something like, oh, I don't know if that was a good answer, producer. No, you're doing a really good job. Let's answer it again. And you can tell that right here, he's going to start back up his answer. Okay. Both suppliers and other customers that we have uh, been able to really leverage some options with, with uh, And that way you can edit much more efficient with interview editing by jumping to the next waveform and starting to organize your sequence and your subclips for each interviewee that much quicker.